Grand Rising family, it is on once again. It is yours truly, your favorite power couple, King Amar Amari and Queen. Queen Amani Amari. <laughs> in the building. One more time for your mind. Tuning in for your power couple mental fitness program. We are the founder and co-founder of Uwa Pele Movement. Uwa Pele Movement is a ministry that focuses on your spiritual, your physical, and your financial well-being. Hopefully everybody has had a blessed weekend. Remember, the way that you start out your day is what paves the way. And the way that you think, okay, is the way that you live. Okay, we focus on helping you to grow again in your spiritual wellness okay so today we're going to focus on self-mastery on today all right self-mastery is a topic of discussion on today it is a very critical piece in your life that will help you to live a happy life okay not a life without trials okay um because some things are out of our control as it relates to trials and tribulations however uh we can keep ourselves from bringing unnecessary roughness in our lives by us having the right mindset, okay? Our mindset is what gets us into the situations that we are in, okay? We think our, ourselves into uh, depression in, in certain cases. We, we think ourselves in, into um, being stagnant in our lives. We think ourselves into being defeated Okay, so once we master our thoughts, okay, we learn how to not entertain negative thoughts, then we'll be able to uh, find ourselves in a better place in our life. Okay, um, a lot of times, a lot of us, we, we are very skilled at mastering other people's lives. Okay, we, a lot of us, we, we know what to tell other people but isn't it amazing how some of us, we don't even have the answers to our own questions in our own life? So why is that? Why is it that we know what to do when it comes to other people, but when it comes to our own self, we don't know what to do. And this is why it's very critical in order for us to be able to work on ourselves, okay? And the reason being is because we're not taking enough time to invest in ourselves. It's just like a lot of people, they'll help other people, but they don't take out the time to help themselves. Um, because a lot of times we're, we're um, used to taking care of other people to where we haven't uh, broken the cycle of putting others before ourselves. And a lot of times it's because of our thinking. Okay, uh, parents, they wrestle with this a lot. Uh, you know, taking care of the children, you know, husband taking care of everybody, but you know, you take every take care of everybody so much, husband and wife and mom and daddy to the point where you don't take care of yourself. And a lot of times we don't take out the time to slow down and to think about, okay, what is it that I need in life? You know, that's not selfish. It's obvious that you're not selfish. And here's the, the obvious point is that you take care of other people. <laughs> so sometimes we have this, this mindset that, you know, oh man, you know, I, I, I you know, I need to take care of them. I need to do this for them. I need to do this for them. And then we feel guilty about doing something for ourselves. And what about what they need? What about, no, 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 no. You'll never do nothing for yourself if you're always concerned about other people. You understand what I'm saying? You got to have balance in your life, okay? And what, what we teach here is to teach you how to be centered and balanced in your life, you know? Um, to be centered in your mind. And when you're centered in your mind, it brings balance to your life. And what does that mean, you know, to, to be centered? It's just like I like to say when it comes to, to a scale, it's just pretty much um, you being squared, you know, um, you being a, in a place of stability in your life, okay? And, and it equates to um, you being able to uh, make sound decisions, okay? Um, and, and I personally feel like sound teaching when applied brings about a sound mind. Okay, so a lot of times our minds are not in a place of, of peace and, and it's because of uh, what we're exposing ourselves to. 
okay um a lot of times we're listening to a lot of conspiracy theories it's, it's a lot of things on the news we listen to i mean so many people running around consecration camps and you know and, and things of this nature and and then we start living our lives in fear you understand what i'm saying and this it's a big difference between being cautious and, and, and living your life in fear fear seizes you up and this is why it's important for you to learn how to master your mind some people are so concerned you know overly concerned about what somebody thinks about them you understand what i'm saying it's a time and a place for that you know if you're going for a job interview okay of course you're going to be concerned about what they think about you you understand what i'm saying that's why you want to be at your best it's a place for that if you're going to audition you know you you're a musician and a singer you know and you're going to audition of course you know what i'm saying as as the statement is first impression is last impression you're going on a date you know and etc you know what i'm saying it, it's a time and a place for everything okay but if you're constantly living your life trying to please other people you are going to go crazy okay everybody isn't going to like the fragrance that you wear the colors that you wear the clothes that you wear the vehicle that you drive the house you live in okay the people that you hang around you understand everybody is not going to be pleased with you so you got to have it made up in your mind i'm gonna do me okay i'm gonna do me okay because if not you'll find yourself living in prison in your own life you'll be miserable while other people are happy okay other people are happy you know with your life because you're doing what they feel like you should be doing but are you happy and so what it is is a lot of times uh you know manipulative and controlling people will try to put you into a box where they feel like you fit in at and they'll they'll tell you to stay there oh no this is you you're here you're not this smart you know you're you're not equipped you know and when you do that what you do is is that you put yourself in a prison you live in this in this boxed in world where you know you're actually greater than um what's being presented and so you end up imprisoning yourself you end up putting yourself in a place where you have actually stunted your own growth because you're living by the pain of somebody else and this is the reason why it's important for self-confidence now i mean we're talking about self-mastery today so you need to have self-empowerment you know how do you empower yourself you know self-confidence self-love self-encouragement self-awareness okay self-healing you have to heal yourself you know what i'm saying so these are some areas that that you uh, should take in consideration in regards to you working on Queen. You got anything you want to touch on, babe? Oh, sure. <laughs> Grand rising, everyone. So, you know, this is this is a very very good topic, self mastery. And you know what? I, I begin to think about uh, self mastery. What is self mastery? Self mastery is simply being the master of yourself, uh, governing your actions governing the things that you do to care for yourself mm -hmm. governing the things that you do to control yourself governing the things that you do in order to function in this this world in this life that we know of now and i was uh as i was out uh, walking i was also thinking self-mastery you know we have master teachers we have mastermind sessions you know, we have all of these masters going on and no mastering of ourselves, mastering of our, uh, the way we treat our body in exercise, the mastering of how we control our speech, mastering how we control the thoughts that are coming into our minds, mastering how we control where we allow our feet to tread, you know, whether it be in a bar, whether it be in some place that we have no business. A lot of times we have a tendency to want to control others, but can we control ourselves? It's easy for me to tell somebody, don't eat that when I can't control myself enough to eat to eat the proper things. It's easy to tell somebody, don't go this place when I can't control myself and tell myself to go the proper places. Last conversation we had, we talked about living vicariously through somebody else 
forcing someone else to do something that you in turn probably can't do for yourself. So we are on a quest, you know, on a day by day basis in order to master the thing, master what belongs to us, to master our minds, our spirits, our bodies, and our souls. I say, oh, that was powerful. What we're talking about now was self-control. <laughs> Self-mastery, right? Controlling ourselves. Um, that's what I heard when she was talking, you know, uh, to encapsulate that all is, is self-control. You know, um, again, we have to have self-esteem. You know what I mean? Uh, peace and blessings to my brother, David Kingdom. Thank you for tuning in, my brother. Uh, ultimate peace to you as well. And may you have a blessed day too, my brother. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate the love, brother. Thank you. <clears throat> and so, okay, we're, we're talking about, uh, you know, focusing on uh, controlling ourselves, controlling our temperance. Um, a lot of us, we get ourselves into some bad situations uh, because we don't have self-control. We don't have self-discipline. We don't discipline ourselves. We allow ourselves, as my queen has so eloquently stated, to say and do what we want to do. And then what happens is, right, we suffer the consequences for what we do. And then guess what? Now this divine entity that people talk about that we call God or Allah or Yahweh, or Ola Dumare, oh, now all of a sudden this deity is not real because of all the hell that we're living in, but it's because we brought it on ourselves. Self-inflicted, self-sabotage. Self-infliction, as my queen said, self-sabotage, okay? We are the ones who put more on us than we can bear, right? You know, understand this, when you refuse to, to believe the positive things about yourself and you embrace the negative things about yourself, what you have done is you have defeated yourself. <laughs> you you just you you just defeated yourself. You just fed into self defeat. Yes. Because you do have the ability. You do have the wherewithal. You understand? You know, you have people like my queen and I who lived in the hood, who has I uh, learned how to do this, how to master ourselves, how to master our minds. You know, and, and I'm gonna tell you something, family. You know, we make we make life harder than what it has to be. We make life harder than what it has to be. I wanna say grand rise to my brother Cortez Springer. Okay, my brother, thank you, man. I see what you said. You said you'll send an invite for the hustle and the love show. Okay, wonderful family. Okay, and, and for those who tuning in, they see my brother comment. Um, if you'd be so kind to go follow after our brother uh, Cortez Springer, he is helping to empower the community to do the same thing that we're talking about today, self-mastery, um, in the arena of your finances, okay? Uh, you know, a lot of times we bring poverty into our own lives because uh, we haven't learned how to, again, we talked about self-control, right? So we have not learned how to properly manage our resources, Okay, you know, we love to blame the one who colonized us and to some degree that is true. But guess what? How is it people like my queen and I who are from the hood? How is it now that we own multiple properties? We have an index universal life insurance policy where, whereby, you know, what I'm saying we're, we're able, you know, to. I uh, reap the benefits of that and have living benefits and we're setting ourselves up, you know, to be able to leave an inheritance for our children. And not only that, we're able to enjoy those benefits while we're alive. How is it that you have two people and you, you listening to a man who father told him at the age of five, he didn't want to see him anymore. You listening to a man who uh, was tossed back and forth between his grandmother and his mother. Okay. You listen to a man who lost friends to, to, the, to, the, to the street life. You listen to a man who almost got shot more than one time, okay, three times, okay? You listen to a man, 
you know, who now uh, didn't know anything about uh, investment properties now know about these things. Let me tell you how it's called the law of attraction. It's because I thought those things into my life, my mindset. I set my mind in the right place. And when you set your mind to do a certain thing, it does. It's just like an alarm clock. If you set that alarm clock to go off at 11 o'clock, that's what it's going to do. Why? Because you programmed it to do that. You programmed it to do that. It's designed, the alarm clock is designed to do what you program it to do. When you program it to go off at a certain time, that's exactly what it's going to do. So the reason why we are in the position that we are in is simply because we programmed our mind. We did, we refused to believe the lies that was told to us about ourselves. We define ourselves. And being that uh, Kwanzaa is coming up, it's called Kuji Chagalia. Okay, defining yourself. You understand what I'm saying? We have to define ourselves and who we are. We cannot allow people, okay, to define who we are right we refuse to accept poverty in our life that's why we're prospering because we we refuse to accept poverty so we say hey we see other people that look like us doing it what do we need to do in order for us to be able to do the same thing and what do we do we listen but not only did we listen we also applied what we learned and it got us out of the state of poverty i personally believe that everybody in the hood can live the same life if they so desire to. This is all about learning and applying what you learn and having the discipline, okay, to, to, to maintain, okay, and, and to stay the course, okay, and, and um, accomplish your goals, Queen. And I just want to add to... Uh something that he said about the law of attraction you know and we get real spooky when it comes to the law of attraction oh the law of attraction do it do it jesus did it or whatever the case may be that's fine whatever your thoughts are in regards to that but in order to put it into a more practical sense you know uh whatever we do we have we uh have a tendency to create i i some say an aura or some say a presence about a thing and we start to attract those things. You know, sometimes we were troublemakers and we started to attract trouble. You know, because all because we didn't master our mind or we didn't master, you know, ourselves in regards to that. I'm going to say this. Uh, you know, we have habits, so to speak. And some of those habits attract things. I always talk about, wait, my habit of doing whatever attracts the extra whatever you know what I mean and uh, the habits have a tendency to become your character you know if I have a habit of drinking I become a drunk if I have a habit of smoking I'm known as a smoker now if I have a habit of acting loony I become a loony to you know and because of those habits and which formulates your character now this is your character now it turns into your destiny if I had a habit of drinking, I become a drunk and I drive, then I become a drunk driver and my destiny may be in the grave. You see what I'm saying? We have to master ourselves, even when it comes down to habits, even when it comes down to what we say, even when it comes down to who we surround ourselves with. We have to master those areas in our lives so that our destiny could be a promising destiny. You know, we're destined for greatness. We'll get on the path to des uh, greatness. You're destined for, uh, you know, riches. We'll get on, get on the path to riches. So I just wanted to add that. Well said, my queen. And if you're saying that you desire to have those things in your life, as, as my queen said, what are you doing for, for that to manifest in your life? What are you doing? You understand what I'm saying? I know we all need help until we get to a certain place in life. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, some things go without saying, but some things must be said because some people uh, like to use that as an escape goal. Well, I'm here right now. But see, the question is, though, what are you doing for you not to remain there? 
You understand what I'm saying? That's temporary, but it'd be permanent if you never do anything for your situation not to remain to be that way. And see, us as a people, this is something that we must understand. That it doesn't have to remain that way. You understand what I'm saying? I personally have refused to accept the situation that I was in in poverty. I said, oh, no, 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 uh-uh. No, I'm not living in this situation for the rest of my life. I'm not raising my son. And guess what? I didn't. See, this is what I'm telling you. I'm no different than you. The only thing different is, is a mindset. That's it. You understand? It's humanly possible. How do you know it's humanly possible? Because human beings are doing it. You have numerous people that look like us that are succeeding. The reason why we don't succeed is because a lot of us um, are not seeking, okay, to better ourselves. A lot of us are not seeking to do that because you know what? We've accepted the condition that we're in. We've accepted that this is it for me. It's, it's, this is it. This is the hood. This is where I'm going to be for the rest of my life. I'm going to continue to live in a drug infested, gang infested, okay, crime infested, okay, uh, neighborhood. This is it. And so the truth of the matter is we got to get to the root of why do we stay in the conditions that we're in? Some people feel like, oh, I'm just keeping it real. Why? Because, again, you're trying to prove something to somebody else. Again, we're talking about self-mastery. You have to get to the point in your life where you start understanding, okay, it's not about what people think about you is what you think about you is what matters. That's what matters. People always are going to have an opinion about you. You understand what I'm saying? But really what holds is what you think about you. And if you start caring about what people think about you, okay, you start giving more attention to that then you're going to take the tension off of yourself and you're going to find yourself drifting away from the path that you're supposed to be on. OK, because you're more concerned about what others think about you. Listen, there's nothing wrong with living right. And there's nothing right about living wrong. We must understand it is OK for us to be OK. And if others want to be OK, what they need to do is, is they need to open up themselves to be teachable, to learn, okay, information that's going to bring about positive transformation in their life and is going to help them to elevate. Information that's going to terminate and eradicate, okay, spiritual and natural poverty in our lives. I personally love to think about wonderful things. I sit there and meditate on my future. I sit there and meditate on, and when I say my future, that, that incorporates my family, okay, and us as, as a people holistically. And I sit there and I meditate on those things. The law of attraction, right? Again, we talk about this law of attraction. And my queen, she'll be the first one to tell you. I remember I told her, I said, baby, we're going to go in real estate the next year. She's like, we are? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And it's because... You know, I kept meditating on that. Not only did I just meditate on that, and it just come to me because of that, it's because we found out what we need to do in order for us to position ourselves to be real estate investors. And what we did was, okay, we sought after the information. Those who seek will find, okay? And we sought the information. And not only when we, after we, we found the information, we implemented the information. And here we are today, real estate investors. The information was like life. That's right. Information, you know what I'm saying, and the implementation of it will birth your, your vision. It will birth your dream. But see what the problem is, a lot of us, we have this, okay, pray and, 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 and don't do nothing type of mentality. You understand what I'm saying? We have this savior complex. And we don't understand that, that the, the, the Supreme Creator has empowered us to do for ourselves. You understand what I'm saying? The creator has given us seed to sow. But guess what? Uh, we got to do our part. You understand? You got to give the universe something to work with. You, you cannot sit there and pray for a harvest. You haven't planted no seed. How, how, are, you, how are you expecting to, to get something out of nothing, family? This is, this is a universal principle here. Okay? You reap what you sow. You understand what I'm saying? So 
we got to understand that we have a part in our life and a lot of us are taught that oh we don't have no control yes you do yes you do yes you do you have more control over your situation than what you give yourself credit for you got the power you have been endowed with the power from among high you have been given power you have the authority you have some say so in your life contrary to popular belief and so you are the one that they have to take charge of your life you are the one that has to say listen this ends today this stops here today let me tell you something family if my queen and i didn't think the way that we think then we would not be passing down generational wealth right now our children have an inheritance if my queen and i leave here right now guess what our children will have an inheritance guess what when my father left i didn't get anything when my grandfather left i didn't get anything but when i leave here my son and my grandchildren okay and matter of fact not only my son but our children okay will be able to have something you understand so what am i telling you i'm telling you no you don't have to accept the state that you are in i want to say i say to my good childhood friend bomani out there man brothers it's such a pleasure seeing you man uh, my brother, he knew me back in the day when we, when we, you know what I'm saying, were both, you know, struggling in the hood, man, trying to make it, man, and, you know, trying to come out of the darkness into the light, man. My brother, he knew me, you know what I'm saying, before I became this 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 person of, of consciousness that I am today, man. So I love you, bro, man. Thank you so much for tuning in, brother. It's always good to, to have an interaction with you, brother. So I say peace and blessings be upon you and your family both spiritually and naturally, good health, okay, long life, spiritual and financial prosperity follow you all the days of your life, my friend. Thank you for being a good friend, brother, for all these years. Okay, family, as I was saying, you know, it's, it's up to you to accept these things. You got to start rejecting these things, okay? Anything that's contrary to good, you got to reject it. And I'm not telling you family is going to be easy because I understand uh, this type of uh, lifestyle is, is easier said than done. However, if you put in the work, it will work. I'm telling you, I bear witness. I bear witness, family. I bear witness. Look at the neighborhood we in, brand new houses. And I'm from the ghetto. I grew up in Rochester, New York, on the east side and the west side on Conkey Avenue, off of Chala Avenue, okay, and on Dale Street, off of Joseph Avenue, in the back way is Remington. Lived over there in the Avenue D. I know some of you are not from Rochester, but what I'm telling you is, you, you understand, you know, that I come from a rough neighborhood. My queen come from a rough neighborhood. Look at where we at now. Look at that, brand new houses. We, we got a brand new house. And I'm not boasting. I'm just telling you, it's possible. This is not something I'm just, I'm, we're just talking to you. We live this thing, man. I'm telling you what I know. I bear witness that if you master your mind, you will master your life. I bear witness that generational ignorance, generational poverty, okay, generational lack, okay, do, does not have to continue. You understand? I do not feel like somebody has control over my life. I control my life. They only have the control that I give them. Nobody has control over you. Nobody. Guess what our ancestors said? Give me liberty or give me death. They said, no, you will not control my life. Basically, I will not live under this type of tyranny. I would rather transition and go to the ancestor realm where they know they was going. They was going to a higher dimension. And they said, you know, give me liberty or give me, you know what I'm saying, death. And guess what? That's what I live by. I refuse to allow any man to tell me I'm less than. You understand? I refuse to accept that. My skin complexion, my zip code, my background. I come from a broken family, but that doesn't mean my life has to be broken. That doesn't mean I have to be broke because I come from a broke family. You understand? It doesn't mean I have to continue to live my life that way. Oh, no, I don't accept that. I reject that. 
I didn't retire at the age of 39, family, by thinking in a poverty spirit. You understand? I refuse to accept anything less than the best for my family and I, and for you as well. This is the reason why I'm coming on here, because I want to see you live victorious. I want to see you rise above poverty. I want to see you live your best life. Understand, I want you to understand that you're great. See, some people will try to make you think because you're not on television or on radio, okay, or you haven't been invited on a major platform that you're not great. Family, understand this. Listen to me very closely. Listen to me very closely, please. Listen to me. I love you. Everybody who got an invited on those platforms is because they're great. Now follow me. They got invited because they were great. So understand they were great before they went on the platforms, before they went on television, before they went on radio, before they went on these social media platforms. They were already great. What happened was is that their great their greatness got took into the airwaves and they became greater. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? You are already great. The only thing that's gonna happen is, is when you collide with a major platform, that major platform is just gonna make you greater. And this is gonna give you a broader reach. You already making an impact. What's gonna happen is when you get on a major platform, it's going to enable you to make a greater impact. So you are already great. But society will tell you once again, because you're not on Oprah, because you're not on the field show, because you, you're not on Steve Harvey. Okay, oh, you who, who is this? You're nobody. Understand this. Listen to me very closely. See, that's what society says. But understand, the, the fruit that you bear in your life says contrary to that. And if you buy into that, you're going to walk around here calling yourself a nobody because you have not received an invite on one of these major platforms. Listen, you already major. You already making a major impact. You already helping to transform lives. You already touching people's life in a positive way. Understand that. Master your mind. End in here. My brother Bomani, he said, much love to you and your divine family. The Most High has orchestrated this time of realm of time and space for us. Lead by example, much love and may it always be well with you. And my beloved brother, I say, oh, we receive him, my brother. Thank you. Queen, you have any last words, baby? You want to share with the people? Uh, no, I just uh, say thank you. Okay, family. They can, they can just, you know, start working on that. Take some time to go inside and figure out. Start working on that. So, you know, we'll see you on Wednesday. Queen said, you know, you could just start taking out that time to pray and meditate to work on yourself. Okay, and this this is our castle behind us. You know, we're getting ready to go in our home. And so, family, we want you to see these things. See, some people show you stuff to show off. No, I show you stuff to show you what you can do. And that's a big difference. I'm not on social media to show off. I'm on here to show you what you can do and what is humanly possible for you. In fact, family, I personally believe that you can do greater than what you see. I, I personally believe that you can do greater than what you see. I believe that you can. If you put in the work, it'll work out. We love you. Have a blessed one. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to follow us on YouTube. I provided the link there, our Uwa Pele Movement channel. Okay, we have more powerful content like this. We have uh, other speakers on there as well, so please go check it out. Okay, we have some spiritual playlists for you, the School of Thought. Okay, on there, my cousin you, Yusuf, okay, who is uh, more mature than I spiritually. Okay, we have some um, economical subject matter experts on there that can help you out economically. Okay, so when I tell you to go to our channel, family, please get it out of your mind that I'm trying to go viral. Some people always think that when you're pointing out a social media platform that you're always trying to go, I'm not trying to go viral. I'm here to help you. Okay, I want to see I want to see your life evolve. That's what I that's what I want to see. Okay, 
I want to see spiritual and financial prosperity go viral amongst the African people. That's what I want to see. Okay, so you can go to the economic playlist on Uwa Pele Movement. We have some economical financial advisors, okay, there to empower you, okay, that will help you out for you to level up and for you to position yourself, you know, to be able to build generational wealth for your family, okay, via business and investment. That's what we focus on, okay? So love you all, family. Peace.